actually that video came it's quite shocking to me and to those who called in and and, and text us because it was quite apparent from the get-go that obviously there was something not regular with the gentleman so the police officer should have seen that and i'm sure it's not their first encounter in seeing him around the city so they know who they're dealing with but um it was the first time for me to see him and it went on and it progressed to the point where the police officers were obviously um abusing their power basically in having him um undressed in that manner and even if not so uh, then uh, what they did to further share it the video are wrong it means that they were up to no good now this sort of behavior is not the first time coming from the police they have done it before and every time it's a reprimand it's a reprimand but the rep reprimands don't work anymore so what we are calling for now is for the termination of these officers i think this is the only way we can get serious about this matter and for people to know in authority that when you do things such of that sort and you try to um, trample on a person's human dignity and rights, then obviously there'll be repercussions. And it is, and again, this is not the first time that the police have been involved in something like this. And I'm also sure that when that happened, that they probably, they have a chat group amongst themselves. They probably share that amongst their chat group. So it was funny then, but when it started to leak and that's when it, it didn't get funny anymore. So they know why they did it. And as such, they were, um, these are people who have been trained and sensitized, we are told. So they know exactly what should have happened. And it didn't happen in, under their command, under their watch. So as such, there should be consequences. And beyond any reprimand or any internal tribunal. I think that it has to become standard now because they, some, they, they interviewed some minister and he said that, well, they have training for human rights and all of that. But it has to be more specific in dealing with, um, with persons with disabilities because there are so many different types of disabilities. Those you can see, those you can't see, and as such, they need to know how to how to respond to people, uh, persons in that situation, and they need to also uh, confidentiality um, uh, as as to what uh, goes on when a person is arrested. That should have been held confidential, man. That's not something that you share around, because obviously, if you're sharing it, then you're sharing it for laughs, and you're not that's not helping anybody, and that's not being them professional. Nor is it in, it, it, as a matter of fact, it might not be illegal because they say it's not illegal. Then it's definitely immoral and it borders on the illegal as well.